to the morning blend. Well, with so many food trends out there, it's often confusing on what we should be eating and what we should be avoiding. But here to help sort things out without breaking your budget is nutrition expert Tara Guidis. She is currently the team dietitian for the Orlando Magic. Good morning, Tara. Good morning. How are you? Doing great. Tell us which ingredients should we really be paying attention to and, and trying to include, and which ones should we be avoiding? Sure. You know, consumers are so savvy these days about what is going into their food. And I love that, that we're caring so much about that. And in fact, the FDA is also getting in on it. And they're saying, you know what? No more partially hydrogenated oils are allowed in packaged food as of 2018. So I'm here with Aldi's food markets. And they're saying not only are we getting rid of partially hydrogenated oils, but we're also getting rid of synthetic colors. We're getting rid of added MSG. And we're not waiting until 2018. It's happening right now. So by the end of 2015, you will see no more of any of those ingredients in all of their exclusive brands, which makes up about 90% of the food in the, in the Aldi store. So I love that food manufacturers and grocery stores are answering the call to consumer demands. That is wonderful. It makes it so much less complicated for us as we shop the stores and we try to avoid the bad stuff because reading labels can exactly. be confusing. It can be. And you know what? More and more, what they're doing to help us is put things on the front of the pack. So instead of looking back and going, I don't know what contains gluten, I'm supposed to be gluten free, they're putting that stamp on the front gluten free. They're putting the calories, the fiber, the saturated fat, all of those things that you care about most, that we should be caring about most, right on the front of the pack. They're putting that certified organic, they're putting the non GMO stamp. They're putting all of those things right on the front of the pack to make it easier. And if you want more information, you can turn it around, um, but it saves a lot of time when it's just right there in a snapshot on the front of the label. Are there tips that you have for people to make it easier to read labels? Yeah, you know, just really looking for some of those symbols and being savvy about what do I care about the most. So if it's added sugars or is it that gluten free or what are you looking for? You know, just be savvy about glancing at the label. And if you need more information, then you can look at the ingredients and see. But they're making it so much easier for us now. Are there other things going on right now to get healthier foods and products more accessible to us? Yeah, absolutely. And cost effective. I mean, I've got four boys, so let's just talk about grocery store bills for a second. And if I can cut costs at all, that's awesome. And they actually have done studies on switching from the national brand to the Aldi exclusive brand. Okay, so 90% of the, the products in the Aldi store are the Aldi exclusive brand. And in taste tests, hands down, they're just as good, if not better, than that national brand. And when you choose that Aldi exclusive brand, you can save up to 50% on your grocery store bill. And then we're also talking about gluten-free and organic and all those things. And you think, oh, I have to go to this specialty store and that expensive store in order to get all these things. You don't. You can go and get things that are actually reasonably priced, and you can still afford to buy organic or gluten-free or whatever it is that you're looking for at a decent price. Because I think that's been the thing that scares people the most about organic products or food that they know is high quality is that it's going to be too expensive especially exactly. to feed a family right well and that's what I'm saying is that you know grocers are responding with saying okay if this is what you want we're gonna figure out how to get it for you and it's not gonna cost you an arm and a leg in order to get it and that's what I love is that you know you can go to stores like Aldi and say okay you know high quality produce for a decent price there's a lot of fresh fruits and vegetables behind you. I'm sure that's one of the things you recommend for kids and adults <laughs> is to include a lot of those. Do you have any um, tips on how to make sure you're getting enough or the right ones? Yeah, you know, any fruit or vegetable is good, whether it's frozen, canned, fresh, you know, juiced or put into a smoothie. I don't care. Just eat your fruits and vegetables. Um, so any way that you get them, they're going to be fantastic for you. And then, of course, you have to round out your diet with the rest. And if you can do a mostly plant based diet with a little bit of animal protein, if you want the chicken or the beef or whatever, that's fine. Um, but it's it's really including a lot of those fruits and vegetables, but also the whole grains, some you know, reduced fat or low fat dairy, and then you're getting all the nutrients that you need in a day. It's wonderful. Great talking to you. And where can people go for more information? 
Well, if you've ever wanted to take a dietitian with you to the grocery store, you can go to aldi.us <laughs> and look for the dietitian's picks, where myself and other registered dietitians have said, this is what you should get at the grocery store. And then you can also um, like Aldi USA on Facebook, and that's a great source as well. That helps make it easy. Thank you so much. Great talking to you. <laughs>